So the it's chocolate really souffle, we've buttered the dish with the Icelandic butter, and then we used a raw, well, a turbinado sugar. Mm -hmm. So the whole mold is, is completely lined with, with the turbinado sugar. Doesn't that look good? Yes, looks and delicious. That, that roughness of the sugar lets the souffle rise up. Um, and uh, we're gonna use that as the, the mold. Uh, into four egg whites, we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of the egg white powder. Have you ever used egg white powder? No, never. What? Oh, this is like a secret of chefs to just um, in, ensure no. that it will rise beautifully. And you're adding that to real egg whites, but this is powdered egg whites. Okay. And a half a cup of sugar. So I'm just whisking that together to get the lumps out. And then you sprinkle that onto the four egg whites. We have to now um, show how to make the souffle first, okay? So that you beat up until there's soft peaks. You have to make the base, and um, that's three quarters of a cup of whole milk, um, one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of cornstarch. That helps thicken it a little bit. Does one have to use whole milk? Skim milk won't work, right? No, not in a souffle. Okay. You know, you know souffle yeah. is a souffle. Okay. You know that. And just a scant quarter of a teaspoon of uh, salt. Always add a little bit of salt and stir that up as the base. And we've melted the chocolate, six ounces of this fantastic chocolate. It's, um, it's kind of uh, semi-sweet, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. And it's so, so tasty. Now, where do they make the chocolate? Well, the beans obviously are not grown in Iceland, although we are trying to because chocolate does grow in the Andes and our greenhouses are so flexible, one can light them with very inexpensive electricity whenever one wants, huh. when one wants to. Again, water them with geothermal uh, energy. We have so many vegetables and fruit growing in our greenhouses. We're trying to now see if we can do it on in an industrial scale and attempt to grow cocoa beans. Really? You yes. think you'll be able to? We're trying to. I'm but very so much hope so. So I'm going to add this um, mixture, the, the um, milk and the cornstarch, to the hot chocolate. And uh, so we're just making a base, yeah. typical base for all souffles. And stir that in. And then add three egg yolks and three tablespoons of that wonderful skir. Now, do you eat scare like yogurt yes, every day? Yes, absolutely. Eat it with me. Yeah, it's very good for you. Mm -hmm. I, I love the taste. And you can mix it with anything, with avocados, with raisins, with anything you want. Mm. Ah. So this is nice and smooth. And then we're going to fold our egg whites. And the, oh, we have one. Um, this gets folded into the chocolate, OK? You want to do that for me while I rescue the souffle that's in the oven and hopefully not overdone? So you know how to fold in. Yeah, just fold that into the chocolate. And then that goes in, into our mold. And I will see what's in the oven. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. This is fabulous, fabulous chocolate. Oh, look how beautiful, everyone. Oh, wow, Isn't that perfect, good? Martha. And you love chocolate. No, absolutely. Yeah, so fold that in. We can finish that. So, it, so we don't run out of time, Dora. Do you want to taste? Yes, of okay. course I want to taste. <gasps> this is really a great souffle. So take a little bit out. I want a big bit. Okay. A little bit. This is don't your, do little it's, things. It's beautiful. It's almost, it's all, not quite a milk chocolate, but it, it looks. Do you want uh, some chocolate sauce on it? Yes, please. I thought we'd, instead of whipped cream, why not chocolate on but chocolate? But we have really wonderful Icelandic cream Oh, as I well. know. You have every, everything wonderful. Here's your spoon. Thank you. And now, wouldn't you all like food. to have this souffle? Yeah, yeah I wish. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Delicious. Good? Absolutely delicious.